So today I got some free time and I'm riding the rails. I'm going from the city to the suburbs today. And why, you ask? I'm going to go see an old friend. Not just any old friend, a friend with a collectible store. And the name of this store, you ask? So I guess I should start from the beginning. Oh, not that beginning. Now I first crossed paths with Wolf for Toys at the Big Apple Con at the now defunct Pennsylvania Hotel, probably around 2005, through a mutual friend named Tony. Tony introduced me and my buddies to Cliff, the owner of Lost for Toys, and he gave us some great deals. So whenever I went to a show, I would hit up the booth, take some product, chop it up with him. I would talk to him, Big Tony, Little Tony, Danny, and his buddy Ralph. Ralph also has a store named Toytastic. Now I'm gonna have to do a video on him too again later. Now I would hang out with this cool group of guys at Philly, Boston, and definitely the New York City Comic Con. And you know, I just couldn't think of a better group of guys to hang out with. These are genuine people that you would actually like to know outside of a comic show. So let's go out, take a trip out to the neighborhood of West Hempstead. Let's take a look at the store and see what Cliff's got for me today. Now when you walk into the store, you're going to be greeted by well over a thousand feet of collectibles. Now, in this case up here, we got some CGC books. Uh, we got uh, Death of Gwen Stacy. We got that first appearance of the black suit. We got, uh, looks like, I think, a first appearance of Blade back there. First Guardians of the Galaxy, Wolverine number one. Uh, we got some bus, uh, superhero bust. We got some Sideshow product, Catwoman. Sinestro, Superman, Joker, Shazam, and Harley Quinn. And guys, good people of YouTube, if you like this video, don't be a lurker, don't be a creeper. Do me a favor, go down there, click that like and subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Got that Super 7 product up there. Everyone loves a good Ninja Turtle. We got some NECA product. We got Aliens, King Kong, Terminator. Got some Marvel Legends on the bottom. We got some more comic books up here on the wall. Uh, we got a Blade number one up in there. Uh, we got the first um, female Jane Foster Thor. Got some very collectible books. Uh, we got some Sonic. Uh, we got Sons of Soda Pops. Let's see, uh, what else we got? Uh, we got a wall of Pops. Massive Pops. Everyone loves Pops. If you're a Pop dude, you need to come out to the store. Got a few long comic boxes. I'm gonna have to go through there, see if I can find something to take home. Now Cliff did give me access uh, to a stash. Uh, got some old school Spider-Man books in here. Some Silver Age sweetness. Let's take a look. I got some first Doc Ock up in there. Everybody loves Doc Ock. Can't get enough Doc Ock. So. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try to see if maybe I can pry Cliff's hands off of one of these books. Maybe I can snatch something up. Alright, 
So now before I cut out of here, let's try to get a couple words in here from Cliff about the store. Uh, I'm on you. All right. All right, now I am here with the main man Cliff at Laws for Toys. And the one thing, Cliff has done something unprecedented. He has opened up a store during the middle of the pandemic. Now, a lot of people probably wouldn't do this, Cliff. Why did you do it? Um, well, as you know, we've been involved in this business for over 20 years, traveling all over the place, doing Comic-Con, stuff like that. And it just got to the point where uh, we were doing well online, the shows were okay, and I said, you know what, let's take a leap of faith. And we opened up this in the height of the pandemic, like you, like you said, and it's been, uh, it's been a wild ride. We've been, we've been doing pretty good. So we've, we had, we had uh, a lot of ups and downs, but with the storefront, it's definitely uh, opened up a lot of new doors for us. Wow, oh, that, that's fantastic. Because I've been buying from you for quite a number of years. And, you know, I would see you at every show. And, you know, we got friendly. And once you opened up a store, I, I, I got ecstatic. And I was like, oh, I got to try to get out here and support this guy. And I love the store. I appreciate that. You Thank have you so a much. ton of product. And I'm like... What, what can people come out here to get? Uh, uh, anything in the pop culture, you know that. I mean, obviously we're heavily uh, involved with Funko Pops. We sell action figures, we do statues, you have comics, you have, you know, stuff from little kids, action figures from little kids to the high-end collectibles. We do hot toys, we're all over the place, but comics and uh, Funko Pops are two of the biggest things that we, uh, we, we uh, specialize in. That's right, and I, I got some comic books in the stash right now that I'll do a video on later. Because uh, if, if you haven't been to the shop, you got to come out here to it. It's Lost for Toys. I'm going to put an address in uh, the link below. But you got to come out here and support. Support your local toy stores, your local comic shops. Just don't go to Target or, or Amazon. That. Just come out here and support. Because I've known this guy for years. His store is great. Come out here and support. No, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, Cliff. Thanks a lot, man. That's my time, brother. And I will see you again next week, hopefully. I appreciate it. All right, guys. So check my channel for my next video. I'll show you what I picked up from Cliff's store. And take a look at the end of the video for all his links to the stores and the social media. Thanks a lot, guys.